Hi friends, welcome to classes by Lab Doctor. I am Dr. Divya, and in today's class, let us discuss about the round cells that which uh, we can see in semen analysis. This is a semen sample which uh, wherein you can see that there are no uh, round cells other than the spermatozoa. We cannot see anything here, but you can see in this uh, smear that there are spermatocytes and there are also certain round cells. There are certain debris there are certain epithelial cells etc these cells which uh, appear other than the spermatocytes what we see they are usually called as the round cells so sometimes what happens all these round cells they are thought to be as pus cells and they are misinterpreted as pus cells so uh, when we see under the microscope we are very much uh, able to identify a spermatozoa humko spermatozoa hum easily identify kar sakte hai kyunki wo muh hota hai uska ek tail hai head hai to hum identify kar sakte hai but there are many other cells bhi rehte hai background mein precursor cells ho sakte hai pus cells हो सकते हैं वो जर्म सेल्स हो सकते हैं आरबीसी हो सकते हैं थोड़े डिफिकल्ट हो जाते हैं व्हेन वी विल हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट इज व्हाई वी पुट दीज सेल्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ राउंड सेल्स मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द लैब टेक्नीशियंस जो रहेंगे वो क्या करते हैं एवरी राउंड सेल्स को वो पस सेल या डब्ल्यू बोल के दे देते हैं सो दो वो स्पर्मेटोसाइट्स रहेंगे या तो स्पर्म प्रिकर्सर्स जर्म सेल रहेंगे स्पर्मेटोगोनिया रहेंगे दे विल लुक सिमिलर टू द cells so they don't have any special techniques or special stains etc to identify ye wbc hai ki ye uh, uh, immature uh, germ cells hai they cannot classify so they will directly put them under pus cells and pus cells in the uh, semen will be like 50 to 60 ya 20 to 30 aise de dete hai and doctor also will promptly prescribe usko antibiotic bhi de deta hai which is a waste of uh, time which is a waste of money for the patient because uh, there will be no infection only and sometimes they even end up doing the semen culture and semen culture may be kabhi kabhi uh, e coli etc grow ho jate hai kyunki wo normal semen cell bhi hai so all this leads to a futile exercise of uh, so many things and there is lot of wastage of money and resources so actually when we say round cells in the semen we mean to say the wbcs as well as the immature germ cells leukocytes what we say the white blood cells they will be the neutrophils lymphocytes eosinophils basophils and macrophages and the germ cells which we see uh, in the smear they could be the spermatogonia spermatids etc so who has laid down some guidelines wherein it says that we need further specific techniques for confirmation of these cells that it could be ihc it could be uh, peroxidase activity etc by which we can actually confirm what is the exact nature of these round cells so these you can see these are the immature round cells in the smear they are relatively large amount of cytoplasm is me rahenge and they have a condensed nuclei and a few immature cells around 5 to 6 immature cells per hypa field are not normal and uh, there are many conditions which we will see in our further slides where we will get this immature germ cells pus cells also up to 5 pus cells per hypa field is taken as normal and uh, when the pus cells or the round cell concentration goes more than uh, 1 into 10 raise to 6 that time it is called as leukocytospermia which happens in some kind of an infections etc so this you can see these are the spermatocytes here so these spermatocytes they have a single nucleus they have not yet divided into the spermatid this nucleus is less dense compared to the spermatids this spermatids have a dense chromatin and uh, there will be no cytoplasmic granules here uh, see it is uh, difficult to differentiate exactly between a germ cell versus the pus cells so you might have to take into account the special stains etc to actually find out what is the uh, cell whether it is a germ cell or it is a wbc cell and also you need to correlate clinically and then come to a conclusion as to what could be these cells so sometimes you will even see a tri 
trichomona certain bacteria yeast uh, fungus which uh, which will also appear as round cells here you can see a trichomonas which is present which might be looking which is looking like a round cell here and here you will see the yeast cells which are round in appearance so they also might be counted as round cells so there will be certain other non sperm cells also which are seen and they also have to be specified whether they are readily identifiable sometimes like the epithelial cells or the uh, uh, very difficult to identify like a germ cells etc rbcs also appear sometimes which are usually absent but sometimes because of a trauma or an infection or an inflammation they also can appear sometimes in the uh, semen analysis so uh, you when you get a semen analysis and when we are counting the cells we also need to comment upon the round cell concentration of this we can classify them as in general the round cells and uh, suppose if you are counting 400 uh, sperms are counted and the number of round cells what you are counting is taken as n then uh, how do we calculate the concentration of the round cells per uh, ml is ml would be n that is round cells divided by 400 into sperm concentration that is going to give you the number of round cell cell concentration in case it is very difficult to identify take uh, the help of special strains etc if that is also not available try to correlate clinically if that is also not available at least you can mention them in the category of round cells so many cells are present in uh, ml so this is what has to be mentioned and if the round cell concentration is very high if it is more than uh, 1 into 10 raised to 6 per ml then it becomes significant so uh, always include the immature cells and uh, leukocytes they have to be counted though it is difficult but it has to be mentioned and uh, if it is more than 1 into 10 raised to 6 per ml it becomes abnormal we have to investigate the cause and we have to treat and we have to follow it up immature cells when you see those indicate the testicular damage and uh, leukocytospermia usually it indicates that there could be a inflammation so so you will have to do certain special stain etc like peroxidase activity assessment etc in case if it is possible otherwise correlate clinically and then come to a conclusion so these are few of the round cells so when we uh, do a semen analysis very easily we identify the spermatocyte but the background shows many other cells that could be all these round cells it could be a mature germ cell it could be a wbc it could be an rbc it could be trichomonas it could be candida so such things have to be commented in the report to give a wholesome report which will help the patient as well as the clinician to come to a, a particular diagnosis thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you